Well, hello there. Welcome, everybody. Nelson Aravalo back with another video. Let's go, baby. Let's get started. Okay, today we got the Yeezy 700 Clay Brown. Yeah, so today, guys, I'm doing an unboxing and uh, a review on these sneakers. This is actually my first sneaker video because my first video was slides, sandals. That's crazy. But anyways, I'm super hyped about this. Let's get started. We got the box. Same old box that Kanye always gives us. On the top part, we got the number 700. On the bottom, we have the Adidas branding. Very small logo right there on the bottom. Then on the sides, we have the Yeezy 700. And then, made by Adidas. Again, on the other side, we have the same thing. In the middle, we have the white label. And it describes the color, clay brown, clay brown, clay brown. And another language there. Don't know what that is. Size 10 and a half. And usually, I'm 10 and a half in sneakers. But I didn't realize that I had to get these either half size up or full size up. And definitely not going to stay with these. But not just because of sizing. Because of other reasons. And let me get into that. Let me explain what I mean. So let's open the box and let's see what we got. Boom. 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 Let's go. All right. So as you can see, we got the Yeezy Clay 700 V3. So let's start with the bottom. On the bottom, we got this like uh, gray translucent um, gum color on the triangle design. On the inside, we got like this dark blue and it's made of like this foam material. It's, and it's actually, it doesn't have boost, the boost technology, which is different than most Yeezys we see. Then that, and that's why it's probably cheaper. Uh, these are retail at $200. And yeah, I won these on the Adidas Confirm app, and I paid $200 for them. Never pay res uh, resale for shoes, never. Uh, well, me and my experience. Anyways, let's go to the top part, which is the mud guard. And this is the mud guard that we've seen on all the uh, 700 sneakers. And in this case, is is a black mud guard with this lime material, interesting material. On the side, we have this mesh material that um, I thought it was prime knit, but it's actually not prime knit. It's actually called like um, engineering something, something, Adidas, something, folic, engineering folic, something. I don't know, man, whatever. Anyways, it's not prime knit. And then we got the brown, the brown color design right here. So it goes from dot to stripes and on top of that we have like this skeletal uh, look that is like a black and if you go outside and charge it with UV grays it glows in the dark which I find like I guess that's the favorite part of, of the shoe for me that it glows in the dark because I love glowing in the dark um, on the bottom we have this like uh, mesh but it like it bends air and it also has like goals right here which i find pretty cool you know it keeps your feet cool on the inside we have these 3m reflective semicircles, which is another cool detail right there and then we have the infinity lacing system which i'm really not a fan of but if you guys are a fan of it hey by all means you know do what you gotta do uh, the, these do come with an, uh, another pair of laces. If you don't want to have these, just put regular laces on them. And on the inner of the upper, we have this neoprene material, which we see on a lot of Yeezy's uh, 700s. And it's a very nice material, very comfortable for your, for your feet. Um, what else can I say? In the back, we have the Adidas branding and yeah I mean overall this this design of this shoe is 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 a very nice 
cool design. It's a different silhouette. I like that it looks like a rib cage, and I like that it has the brown. But you know, me, um, I just I wouldn't go for this shoe just because it's black. I don't really like black shoes. I like colors that pop because when it's an all black sneaker, I mean, it's not an all black sneaker, but it tends to like fade the silhouette. Like from far away, you can't tell what it is. So being that, that being said, nice shoe, great shoe, but I'm gonna get rid of you. <laughs> hey man, it's just business. You know what I mean? It's just business, you know? Um, Yeah, I mean, these are the shoes, and if you guys are interested in purchasing these, I do recommend you get uh, half a size up or one size bigger. So I'm a 10 and a half. Um, I should have got a, probably an 11 or an 11 and a half, but uh, we're going to see. Um, I have some, some 700s coming in, size 11. We'll see how those fit me, and I'll let you guys know. Um, as far as like a look on feet, I can't really do that because these don't fit me. Wow, that's interesting that these actually get like really like scratched up really easily. Like I had, I rarely touch these and they already got like scratched. So yeah, keep an eye out for this material on the midsole. It's a very like delicate material. But um, other than that, guys. That's that's pretty much it. That's what we got here. We got the Yeezy 700 Clay Brown. Boom, 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 boom. But yeah, there you go, guys. Thank you guys for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe and show that love. If you're interested in purchasing some N-Lime, N some N-Lime merch, um, go to my website, nlimenyc.com. And I'm gonna put all the information down in the description. If you need, if you want to purchase these on StockX, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put that in the description for you. I got you guys. And if you're interested in these, uh, let me know. But I'm probably gonna get rid of them ASAP. Hey, you ready to know the vibes? Good looking for stopping by. Peace out. Later.